Hi, today I'm very close to Unknown Solidar Memorial, which is exactly here, but this video is made to show you how this palace was looking like. Yes, this, where the green area is now, and it was a brew palace that was here in Warsaw till the end of Second World War. So now we can imagine this building not only due to pictures or photos, but also due to watercolor I'm going to show you. So let's start. Today we are continuing our series with Warsaw palaces and residential places. We are starting with horizontal line and then we are pointing the focal point exactly in the middle of the horizontal line. Then we are drawing the main shape body of the building so the height and the length this is the continuation of the series of premium tutorials which are firstly the palaces in Warsaw and castles in Warsaw What is important that the horizontal line is the height of the human, of the observer, so it's very important to focus on the height of the horizontal to the height of the building. And what's more, the most important thing is that the observer, the, the person in the picture, should be smaller than the height of the floor. This person needs to feed to each floor, so it needs to be smaller. So in this palace you can say it's like human is one size and the floor is double size of this human. Firstly I draw the main elements, most important parts and then details, always. Remember this is the only one and the most important principle in, in drawing so starting with main objects and then going to detail it's easier to use hard pencil to draw for watercolor because you do not remove this pencil with your hand
step by step more and more windows around this drawing so I have all floors now windowed I can say great so this palace I would like to say to you something about this palace it was called one of the most beautiful palaces in Warsaw till the end of the World War II and it was destroyed and not rebuilt but in our times in Warsaw was an um, organization called Saski 2018 the main idea of this move social move was to rebuild this palace but it haven't happened When we have the body part, we can also draw outbuildings, so the smaller houses on the right side and on the left side, which are the um, service buildings for the main body palace. In this um, central perspective, it's important to focus the expression in several parts so I think it's the key part is the middle and also the right and the left side of the body shape further objects like uh, outbuildings on the right side and on the left side should be drawn and painted very very light so do not do not concentrate um, our minds on these not very important parts So drawing process in this building is, is time consuming but I think it's worth it. <laughs>
we can also draw now lamps on the left side and on the right side and when everything is detailed and finished we can start with paint I'm painting now a sky, a blue blue sky, which will be will be repainted later. But this is the first option I made. Then I thought it's too light, and I need some contrast on my sky. So now you see, I put some paint some light paint on my paper and I'm trying to make it looking quite quite dark Now you see I'm rotating the canvas to let the paint move in every direction. It's important though to see a nice smooth texture with different colors, lightness and darkness in some parts. But going from one splash to another smoothly. In my opinion, good, a good looking sky is a key to have a good looking watercolor. It's making an atmosphere and sometimes a heavy contrast. Pain is falling down, down, down. If something, if, if one place is too strong, I uh, correct it with tissue, just touching with tissue to the paper, to wet paper, and collecting. Yeah, you see, it's the first try to make it a little, little darker, but I wanted to have a um, coming storm effect, so it should look like a um, dark sky with clouds, but now you see it's only dark, but it's not like cloudy. So it's okay, I like it, but... I will repeat this process once more but this you can see in my full video um, you can get access to through my website artivalorstudio.pl slash video tutorials then when you order it I will send you send it to you directly that's a huge, huge amount of knowledge. And not only for this watercolor, it's universal. So if you learn once, you can multiply your knowledge in every watercolor. Because watercolor is quite simple. You only need to get some hints, to get some knowledge, and then practice, practice, practice.
in this part the last thing I'm I'm doing is um, coloring the facade with um, a light warm paint It's very warm and very, very yellow, orange, yeah, something between to get a nice contrast between the sky and the facade. So, why not to start now? Visit my website to get a full access to this video or see the next video in a few seconds. See you next time.